Hey everybody, what is going on? Speedy Diver here, and this right here, I'm excited. I'm so excited to be making this video, like so, so excited, because this is the first weekly recap video that I'm making in forever, like literally over a year or so. I have made monthly we uh, recaps recently, but I haven't made weekly recaps. And if you're new to the channel or if you've just never seen me make one of these videos, basically what this is that you are watching is going to be me showing you guys everything that I have found from the past one week of dumpster diving and letting you guys know if the games that I find, if they work, if they're broken, if the electronics work, if the electronics are broken, just literally anything. And also the reason I make these videos are for anybody who watches and can't watch every single dumpster dive I make, they can always watch the weekly recap to see what I find. So uh, with that being said, guys, there is, there's a lot here. There, there's a decent amount and I'm so excited to be making this. <laughs> it is just a lot of fun. So uh, first things first, Xbox box, empty. It's an Xbox One Xbox. Probably gonna keep it, I'm not too sure. At least for the weekly recaps, all the boxes I find, I'm probably gonna keep them at least for this, for just to make the video. But uh, just to show you guys, there is a Wii box down there, Xbox One Xbox, and a PS4 Pro box. But what's inside will be surprising. <gasps> it's a PlayStation Slim box. Yeah, so it's not even the right box inside of there, but either way. And then there's this. <gasps> Captain Price, da da da. It's so cool. It says Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and then it goes down to Captain Price, MW for Modern Warfare, and then it obviously repeats. Uh, really, really cool. It's something they would have hung up in the store, I believe, to promote the game. I'm not 100% on that because I just don't know, but that's obviously what I think anybody would think. So definitely very, very cool. I hung it up just to show you guys, and uh, mm, making this video is so exciting. I feel like I'm echoing. Why am I echoing? <laughs> but uh, that is to basically show you guys everything that was found and uh, to let you guys know if it works or not. So, let's get to it. Now, first thing I want to run off the bat, as I believe the way I put all these games on here is that all the cases back here are actually empty, and then the ones in front have games. Also, that's a game, and that's not a game. So, uh, let's go over it real quick. So, empty PS4 case for MXG P3. It's a nice PS4 case, but it is sadly empty. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This one right here is exciting because it does work i did try it out but there is something kind of wrong with it you can see it's in decent condition but what's wrong with it is actually in the middle ring right there it's actually cracked it's cracked right there and it's also cracked right there now what's kind of good about that being cracked and not the actual disc is that just the plastic in the middle is cracked and the game still ran now i'm not too sure if i'm actually gonna run this game that much to be honest just because uh I already own this game to begin with, and I have a good copy that's not cracked, but this game does work, so I'm kind of like on the edge of I don't know what to do with it, because this, basically games that are cracked in the ring, if you put those in a console, they can explode, and that is not something you want to happen to your Xbox, your PlayStation, anything, because uh, that's bad for your, your console, basically, so uh, I'm just not too sure on that one, but still, great game nonetheless, my favorite ever Call of Duty. There's also right here a couple sleeves that I have found this week. There's Assassin's Creed Revelations with the manual inside. A Soul Calibur 5 sleeve. Rabbids Go Home and Comedy, a comedy adventure for the Wii. It's just a sleeve. NHL 2K10 as well. So in all, found about five sleeves or four sleeves. Yeah, four sleeves all together. And uh, definitely cool. And the reason I do keep these for anyone who may ask is I keep them, so if I find a case that's empty, say like this one, there's no real sleeve in there, that's a fake sleeve, I could throw a Soul Calibur 5 one in there, and if I ever find this game without a case, but boom I can open it up, put the game in the case, and it's 100% complete besides the manual. But still, so it's like 90% complete. So uh, that's the reason why I keep those, for anyone who doesn't know. And also this is a great video for me to answer questions that you guys ask, so uh, that's answering some of those questions. So obviously you see a Street Fighter 4 case, it is empty for the uh, Xbox 360. There's also a Style Navy Nintendo DS case, sadly empty as well. Brunswick Zone for the Wii is empty. NHL 10 is empty. There's also Heavens or Heavens. Heavens? Did I say Heavens? Yeah. Heavens Sword 
or Heaven's Sword. Yeah, Heaven's Sword. I don't know how you say it. I guess that's how you say it. It's empty. Uh, Duck Dynasty is empty as well. Also, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 09 is empty. Now, also over here, we do have this. Now, if you can notice, or if you did notice already, I have basically everything that has a cable attached. I put rubber bands around them. Now that's a great way for me to show you guys that I test these out. So, uh, well, besides this one, <laughs> I didn't test this out because I don't actually, I, I can't, I don't own whatever this goes to, but uh, I still rubber banded it just for the uh, actual cable management of it. But basically right here, there's two Xbox 360 con uh, chargeable like battery packs. This one is made for this one. And uh, this actually did work. I charged it all up and stuff and it actually works, which is pretty sick. So uh, definitely a pretty cool find. And then there's also on the other side, it was missing one, but uh, this does work. It's for an Xbox 360, pretty cool find. This one's for an Xbox 360 and it has USBs in the front or one USB. And that USB did work, I tried it out. This whole thing worked because I have found battery packs that fit this in the past. So definitely very, very useful. Uh, it's always good to have extra ones of these, I guess, because if one breaks, you can always have another one. So uh, there's that. This for the... Uh, it's for Apple. I, I don't know if it's for like a Chromebook. I don't know what it's for for Apple, to be honest. I didn't do too much research on this. Uh, I had a couple people in the comment section of when I found this letting me know that it went to kind of multiple different things. So I, I didn't really know which one to believe. So um, I'm just not sure. But uh, you can actually plug in a regular like cord in there to power this, I guess. I don't know if it's an adapter or what, but uh, if anyone does know, please let me know in the comment section. It's got a really weird like plug on it. I'm just not sure what that goes to, but obviously it goes to a, like either a Mac or some kind of, like the laptop or the PC. Probably not an iPad because it looks kind of big. Just not too sure though. Also this, ended up finding this. I didn't know what it was when I found it, but like a closer examination, I believe this somebody would have stuck on the back of their cell phone as like a little leather kind of skin. That's what it looks like to me. I'm still not sure on that, but I think that's what it is. Empty 3DS case for pencil puzzle. Halo 4, this is when we start getting into the exciting stuff. Halo 4 is in there. Both discs do work 100%. I also gave away that 14 day gold trial to you guys, so that's pretty cool. There's also... Oblivion, yes, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. It's in there, it works. I have to say this game or the Halo 3 probably were my favorite finds this week. And uh, also I never knew you could play Oblivion on a flip phone. So that also blew my mind when I found that. And this did come with the map as well. There is the map back here for Oblivion, which is pretty freaking cool. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that is awesome. So uh, I'm always one to love to buy games that come with maps, like Grand Theft Auto V. You got this. Also, the Halo 3 has a map, or not a map, but a poster inside as well, as you can see. And it's in a Platinum Hits Edition case. Like, that is super crazy to find, but here is the poster, as you can see. It's not a map, but when I say map, I mean like map poster, poster map, things like that. Halo 3, baby. That is so sick. This came with every copy of Halo 3, not just the uh, Platinum Hits version, but still, still really, really cool. And the game did work, by the way. So that game worked, that game worked, that game worked. And then we come to the original Xbox, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. This game, it worked. I tried it out actually on an Xbox that I found dumpster diving a little while back. It freaking works. They butchered his face. His face is hideous in this. I don't know what they did to it, but uh, that's him in real life. That's him in the game. <laughs> I still can't get over it. It's so funny. But uh, either way, it still worked. Freaking awesome. Xbox, original Xbox game. That is so sick. A couple cases as well. We have this one that goes definitely to an iPhone. This one I think goes to a Samsung, maybe Galaxy. I'm not too sure. They're just off-brand names, I think. Nothing too fancy. This one's even kind of broken. But, uh, and then this one, I don't know what kind of phone this one goes to, but it's some kind of girl case. As you can see, there's like little, like, I guess confetti kind of. So, kind of cool, not too bad. Then there's also these, which are super cool. If I can find the one that's open, I left the other ones not open. There we go. Yeah, there were two that were open. Because one was open when I found it, and the other one I opened when I found it. These are for Cyberpunk 2077. It says, Happy Holidays, see you in Night City. 
These are like Christmas cards or New Year cards or something. Freaking cool. Now there's two of these that are open, but the rest of these, they're all brand new sealed. That's what's inside of these is those cards. And uh, they're really cool. They have little palm trees in the corner with a city, probably California or something or Florida, not too sure. But uh, definitely, it's just super cool. It is just super duper freaking cool. And there's a whole stack of them. These are things I love to find dumpster diving because you can't buy these. But then again, you could probably get these as like a pre-order bonus or something, not too sure. And then there's We Play. Now We Play is in there, and We Play plays. Yes, I played it. It worked. I didn't actually like. It. And this one's really scratched up, by the way. This was probably the most scratched disc of the week, and it still worked, which is really, really awesome. Just shows you how uh, how well made Nintendo stuff is. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And then there's also a Wii controller skin. Yeah, bringing back memories. I used to find these like candy. Not so much anymore, but still a great find. A Blu-ray case. I don't find these that often, so definitely a uh, more unique find. A ball for Mickey Mouse, which it actually kind of inflated a little bit. It was a little flat when I found it. It feels more inflated now. That's really weird. But uh, still a ball that I can maybe play around with Speedy Cat with? I don't know. <laughs> and a, uh, a Wii stand. He used to find these like candy as well. These two items used to be like anyone who would dumpster dive GameStop, this is what you would find constantly. No matter what, you'd always find these. And you don't find them as much anymore. Like it's just like, I guess it just goes to show times do change with dumpster diving. Also, there is a hat that I found, which says CB on it. Still don't know what kind of brand that is. Uh, it's probably like a no brand. Someone just probably got their initials. Actually, no, it says CB in there, so I'm not sure. CB, if anyone knows what brand that is or what it stands for, let me know in the comment section. And last but not least, ba-boom, we got the gift cards, yes. Now these gift cards right here, what I'm going to be doing is I believe I'm going to be, I think this is a smart idea. So now tell me if you guys, think this is a good idea or not let me know in the comments below basically I'm f I find gift cards every single time I dumpster dive for the most part so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save all the gift cards I find one month of dumpster diving and every single month at the end of the month or the beginning of the next or something I'll make a video testing out those gift cards that I find and uh, that way I don't have hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of gift cards that I have to go through basically because that definitely uh that takes a long time. The last video I made, literally testing out gift cards, 500 gift cards took me about 10 hours to actually just record the video. And it was, it was too much. It was just way too much. So uh, I think that's a good idea. Every month I'll go through these gift cards. I have no idea if these gift cards right now in front of me have any money on them or if they don't, but I will wait every single month. And then after that, I'll go through the gift cards. So let me know if you guys think that's a good idea or not. And that is going to wrap up this week's weekly recap. I'm still a little rusty at making the weekly recaps because I haven't done them in maybe even years. I, it's been so long since I've made a weekly recap video. So uh, just thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe. And then make sure you guys also turn on the post notification, that little bell icon, because... There's a lot of you guys who are uh, watching my videos who are subscribed who don't have the bell notification turned on. So make sure you do that so that maybe, just maybe, you might get a notification because YouTube's so messed up. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the best recommended video right here. My uh, gaming channel video is right over here. Go check out my gaming channel over here if you like the gaming videos and this channel. Thank you guys for watching. I love making these. Uh, this might be uh, week number one of weekly recaps. I might start it over, you know? I'm, I'm not too sure. Maybe this will be season two or something. I'm just not sure at the moment, but thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.